Hey folks, some significant things happening on the sun right now. First, this dark trans-equatorial coronal hole is now uh, pointed squarely at the Earth. We had a tiny little coronal mass ejection come from just south of the coronal hole, and uh, pretty much on the center of the disk, we had one of the largest filament eruptions we've seen in a while. Now, while none of the uh, ejections are expected to do very much to the Earth, they'll probably both just get caught up in that uh, strong coronal hole stream from the coronal hole. But we may have seen another example of uh, the magnetic connections between the Earth and the Sun having effects on both at the same time. Now, this happened at exactly 12 o'clock UTC. Keep that in mind. Every eight minutes, a flux transfer event occurs. A magnetic portal between the Earth and the Sun opens up and allows a lot of energy, uh, electromagnetic radiation, uh, solar wind, uh, to travel in and, and things like that. Well, it just so happens that right when that filament erupted uh, at 12 o'clock UTC, we had a pretty strong uh, horizontal disturbance in our outermost uh, magnetic layer. Uh, right at 12 o'clock on our ionospheric absorption, we had a little spike in the red right there. This is the VHF rheometer. And right at 12 o'clock on the induction magnetometer, we saw some temporal va uh, variations in our magnetic field strength. Folks, most often these things have no connection whatsoever, but this is the third time in about a month that we've noticed um, what appears to be a connection between these things. Uh, don't forget that that electromagnetic radiation is moving at the speed of light. It's only going to take eight minutes to get here. Uh, there's no reason why um, all of these things which are based on magnetics uh, couldn't be connected. So that's what it is, folks. Watch out in another two to three days for that coronal hole stream and the CMEs to arrive and be safe.